Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna do a video about MicroPile and how to model them in Plexus. I've been asked a lot about this subject. So you're gonna see everything about MicroPiles. Before I start, if you're into civil engineering and you're new here, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be a great help for you. So what's the difference between a pile and a micropile? So technically, there's nothing that is such as a micropile. A micropile is a smaller version of a normal pile, but we call it micropile. So it has smaller diam a diameter like uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 uh, meters, and uh, it's uh, it's not very deep, about three, four, five meters. The advantage of this of this type of foundation is we can do it in uh, in buildings. That means uh, you can uh, you can enter a machine and drill inside the building. So I have a video about this one. I leave a link in the description box where we drilled a micro pile to reinforce the foundation. So how should we model it? You can model it as a line. So let's say this is the clay here. And here it's the better foundation, it's the rock, uh, rock soil. It's four meters. So I left click and create, right click and create embedded beam. So this is an embedded beam. It's uh, rigid on top. And it's connected to the rock. So we can get it to here. It's not a problem. Then we go. <clears throat> to material and we will add so this is an embedded beam we will call it uh, micro pile here it's the young modulus I'm gonna put a value for it okay so we'll say it's concrete It's a predefined massive circular beam. Let's say the diameter is 0 0.5. The spacing, the spacing between the two piles, the Riley coefficient at these values here are for the damping when we do when we're doing a dynamic analysis. Let's say the skin resistance is 300 kilo newtons. And the end force is 200. The based resistance, it should be 100 and 300, the start and the end. <coughs> and the base resistance is, uh, let's say, 400 kilonewtons. So we've defined the pile. I'm going to pause it and make a, I'm going to also put a point load here. About minus uh, 10. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video, create the mesh, and make the calculation and show you the, show you the results. So this is the result. Before I uh, see the result, uh, I forgot to, to, uh, to, to, uh, to, say, uh, to say to you that there's a tutorial about piles that I made uh, before. You can see everything about what you need to put in the parameters uh, in the end and the start of the pile. So let's see the results. These are the deformations. You can see the deformation of the micro pile. You can see here it's the biggest deformation till it comes to the rock. You can see the stress. So this is it. Thanks for watching. If you have any question about any subject, leave a comment in the comment box.